Sublime Text is one of, if not the best, code editor for programming. It's minimalistic, runs on every device, and can handle almost any programming language. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to use live preview on Sublime Text and sharing some of the tricks I use to speed up my web development workflow on Sublime Text. Ready? Let's go. Before I get started, please make sure to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell to join our community. Welcome. Now, I primarily use Sublime Text for web development. So, the first thing I do after downloading it is install control package. This handy tool allows me to easily install and remove packages to enhance my coding experience. To access package control, I use the command palette throughout the entire video. You can bring out the command palette by pressing Ctrl Shift P. Next, I recommend installing the Color Sublime package, which enables you to download various color schemes for Sublime Text. I personally prefer the Monokia color scheme and its variations. Now let's talk about Live Preview or Live Server in Sublime Text. To see a live preview of your code, simply left click on the code and open it in the browser. This will render your web page, allowing you to see the changes in real time. To make the process more effective, I use a package called Browser Refresh. This extension enables me to refresh the browser directly within Sublime Text using a keyboard shortcut. I personally configure the shortcut to Ctrl S so that every time when I save the code, the page automatically refreshes, showing the latest changes instantly. Another useful extension I rely on is Terminus. It brings the terminal directly into Sublime Text, allowing me to execute commands without the need to open a separate terminal window. Don't forget to like the video, then subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. Have a great one.